Hope you're all still awake. Late Night Mega here. And uh, we finished stage one, so we're going on to stage two. You know, I should probably explain some of the plot to this game before doing that. Um, so let me pull out the manual, because the game didn't really give us much plot. It just kind of threw us into uh, this thing. And so the object of the game... I'm going to read this right out of the instruction manual. Uh, it says the kingdom has been conquered by Manax the Dark Lady, and the forces of good have been put to flight. The master has summoned the only three remaining adventurers who can defeat Manax. Okay, so the master must be the big floaty wizard thing. Uh, they are the kingdom's only hope. Set out alone or with a companion. Oh, yeah, I have to explain why you don't want to do that. Guide your character through fantasy love, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, we're, we're fighting against this uh, Manix the Dark Lady. So let's get into this here. Ah, the mountain range. I remember when, uh, when I was a kid, and... Oh yeah, this is another guy that I believe can get around the uh, Krunk's um, get around Krunk's defenses but not the other two so yeah don't play as Krunk yeah see defending is important against those guys and yeah we did all of that just to get that uh, I didn't want to take any fall damage, so that's why I'm going about things this way. Hey. I didn't know you were going to follow me up here. Oh, bats. Sometimes those bats can go over your, uh, your... They won't bounce off of you and they'll end up taking damage because they go in kind of a wavy pattern. There's a lot of times in this game where you can't really see where you're dropping into or where you're jumping into. It's probably my only uh, negative thing I have to say about this game. Overall, though, I do, I do think this is a pretty good game. Although I didn't like it at first when I was a kid. Uh, so as I was saying, my dad w my dad came home and he's like, uh, "Hey, I got us a new a new game," and I'm like, I'm like super excited. I'm like, "Oh, is it Mega Man 7?" Because I didn't have Mega Man 7 yet. In fact, I never owned Mega Man 7 on the Super NES. And or I was thinking, oh, "Okay, well, maybe it's a Mega Man. Maybe maybe a new Zelda came out, or maybe it's a new Castlevania or something." And, then he pulls out the game and it's like, he's like, oh, it's Blades of Vengeance. And I'm like, what the heck is Blades of Vengeance? I don't want this. Hey, don't be trying to spawn in behind me. That's rude. Um, yeah, you can kind of see there's a hidden... Let me take the hidden path. Ooh. At least I think this is the hidden way. Hi there, bat. Oh no, that's the path of progress. This is the uh, way to treasure. Yeah, that guy down there, we're going to have to deal with him. There's, I, I appreciate the different types of enemies that we have in this game as well. And there's different sort of, you've got like the one-hit little guys, like those bats and those floating eyes. And then you've got... Then you've got, like, uh, these bigger enemies that will do all sorts of stuff, so, yeah, beware. Oh, I was supposed to be blocking that. See, defending is good. And we get a healing potion for that. Those blasts didn't do too much damage to me, so that's okay. And now we're into the next section here. Ah, I wanted to increase my score. Oh, we'll take this path. This path will get us some goodies, I believe. Ooh. 
but that's that one's gonna be tough to jump on. Yeah, you gotta you gotta help you gotta use your attack to help you get a boost there. But yeah, we get a gold bag. I believe that's worth like five silvers. Yeah, you don't actually have a gold item. Oh, hey. Don't want to knock this guy off either, because he has gold. Now, if you hold the C button, you can kind of get a little view around, but not much. Ouch. Well, we're okay. We, we lived. And face the correct direction when defending. That is always helpful. Uh, in these early stages, I do want to conserve my healing potions. There is... well, there's a secret that way. We'll go back and get it. First, I'm going to go this way and clear out some stuff. I did do a test run of this game uh, off-camera, mainly for the later stages, and then I still missed like half the stuff. Oh, you can see an enemy walking down there. Of course, I managed to go right into the spikes. Uh, I better use a healing potion. I want to be conserving these for the later stages. The music, I find, is fairly catchy, yeah. You can come down here and get greeted by this guy. Are they supposed to be like zombies or ghouls or something? Some sort of undead evil warriors. How I'm taking it. Uh, I couldn't quite jump over. But there is a reason for going this way. Haha, the sparkle, but also notice there's a switch there. Yeah, now we've got a strong attack. You can see we got the second sparkle power up. Uh, you actually cannot pick up any more sparkle power-ups. Uh, if you try to walk over one, you can't get it. Oh, the reason you don't want to play this game as two-player is uh, you share the same screen, which means the game doesn't let you like walk off uh, into a place where your partner isn't. So, for instance, say I was trying to make this jump here, but my partner was on the far right, or worse yet, I was trying to make this jump and my partner went to the right like as I was jumping, I could end up falling into the spikes and taking damage there uh, because of my partner, you know, blocking the progression of the screen. And another thing is you will also compete with your partner on all of the items that we pick up. And so then it just becomes kind of... So, so two-player just kind of becomes a, hey, let's just fight and argue over who's getting what items and stuff for two hours. If, if that's your idea of a fun time, go for it, but uh, not recommended. Yeah, look at the power of that. I was using the up attack there. Try to use the up attack whenever you get the opportunity to. It's very beneficial. And here's another section. To face the right way. And that is a Ring of Midas. Uh, Midas being, you know, from the legend uh, mythology, King Midas, who you know, was granted any wish or something that he wanted, and he wished that everything he touched would turn to gold. And he got that wish. Problem was, he ended up uh, dying because, well, he could no longer eat anything. He tried to eat something, and it, the food would turn to gold as soon as he touched it. And uh, same with the water he drank, so he had kind of a very painful death. Not a pleasant way to go. So, the Midas Ring, what it does is, uh, you know, fitting with that theme of turning things to gold, it will turn all of the enemies on screen into gold. Or silver, rather. Bags of silver. So yeah, you want to use that on, like, where there's a bunch of enemies grouped up. Yeah, we get a bag of silver for killing that guy. And then we come down here, and this is where we will progress. 
The spiders won't actually damage you uh, as they're walking around, but when they go and do their jump, that's when they can damage you. Now, if I was smart, I would have gathered all those spiders together and then, uh, then used the Midas right on them. We are so powerful right now. Uh, there's a treasure over here, another healing potion, very nice. And I believe there's... Oh, no, I guess there's not. Nope, 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 nope. No. The bats and the spiders don't hurt that much. Oh, there's gold. There's a uh, strength scroll. Which, those will actually increase your strength for a little while. Lousy spiders. Oh, yeah. I'll be firing that. <laughs> and here's a second sparkle in level 2. You can get two sparkles. I should... Uh, I already killed them. I want to save the mice rings anyways. That reminds me. I missed... I missed a thing. Can I go back? I don't think I'm going to get that platform back, am I? It's that one platform down there. You know what? It, the, the item's not going to matter. I'm not going to get every treasure in the game. And I feel like I would take too much damage going back to try and get it. Or what I get would not make up for, you know, like using a force field potion or something. I definitely want to be conserving those as well. Yeah, well, we got another healing potion. And another healing potion. And this should be the boss. Yes, this is the boss. Now, uh, this boss, he has uh, several phases. Kind of difficult, because you actually can't hit him until he uh, becomes solid there, like that. Oh, he hit me from above. Just a little too slow. I don't like this first phase. The first phase, in my opinion, is the most difficult phase doesn't help that I'm taking the hits that I don't want to be taking. Hopefully we don't have to use any more healing potions. Yeah, that's how we get a couple of nice shots on him. Overall, this guy isn't terribly difficult. Again, you just have to have patience and just remain calm. Okay, so now he's going in one of three places. Well, now he's going in more than just those three places. And you can see he's shooting out a second laser. So we are in phase two here. I don't want his attacks hitting you. I'll just let him get over there. Ouch. I shouldn't have tried to get a hit. I'm surprised we're not in Phase 3 yet. Phase 3, you'll know when we're in Phase 3. We're in Phase 3. <laughs> yeah, he starts making that uh, sound. He's going to teleport right on us. Which, I, in my opinion, his most difficult phase is phase one, where he goes in one of three spots, and it's always hard to hit him when he's up above, but this is his easiest phase, because, you know, you just hit him there. You get a few bags of silver for beating him. Very nice. And now it is time for some shopping. 
faithful warriors ahead lies the northern watchtower guarding the dungeons of the lost city make haste to descend and find the door to the dungeons if it's a lost if the city is lost how do you know about it all right so you can see some more items have become available for us to purchase we can get extra lives for uh, 10 silver each uh, we can get force fields we can get invisibility i'm gonna buy a couple things here yeah that's that's all i'm gonna buy uh, i do want to save some money because after the next stage well we'll get money in the next stage but still uh after the next stage we'll get something really cool that we'll unlock uh so that's all for me for now next time we'll take on the tower